Welcome back to the Collector Zone. I'm Jeff Dickinson, and this is an unexpected surprise, man. I was not looking for it. You can get a kick out of this. So, I was like trying to find some cool games I can normally do. And as you saw on my video in the past, I did a video on the Star Trek game. I was nowhere near thinking about looking for a completing box. And for some reason, this dude reached out to me and he said he had a completing box he wanted to sell. And he offered me $35. And I said, hell yeah. So here it is. I can't believe he sold a... I don't know if you put my knife away too quickly. A completing box for 35 bucks. These things are going for way more than that. Now, he did say the box was not in great shape, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll check it out. So, here it is. Yeah, the box is worn. So, I mean, I already knew going into this that the box is worn. It's a, it's a lot better shape than most boxes, I can tell you that. You know, and I do a little box repair. I give them to where they look a little bit better. Not by like 110%, but you know, I do my best. But that's what it looks like. And I'm noticing something right here. Well, uh, it says Atari 400. He was telling me this is a 2600. Well, oh no. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, it is a 2600. Okay, this guy, I don't know, man. Well, the main thing was it came with this and the instructions. And he said a box. So, he did say pretty much somewhat of it. Hey, look at this. I just noticed this. <laughs> Electronics Boutique. Remember that? Oh, man, that sure brings me back. Ten bucks. And it comes with the uh, exclusive combat control panel overlay. Which, you know, let's take a look here. So, yeah, it's uh, in really good condition. I don't see really anything super wrong with it outside. And, you know, that only played with. But outside from that, it's actually in really good condition. So, that says Tari 400. This Tari 600, 2600. And this is the Atari 400. I wonder if the manual is different. I, I really don't think it was. Let's take a little gander here. It, it's a bummer that it wasn't uh, 2600. But then I, maybe, I don't know, man. I mean, just getting the overlay and a nice little instruction booklet. Pretty cool. I mean, for me as a collector who loves Star Trek, wait a minute. Did this pull out or oh I see what no we're wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to open up like a regular book. But it does this now. Okay, cool. But it is like a regular book. So yeah, I mean it's that's where we last left off. <laughs> but yeah, man, I mean I was happy to uh pick it up. So all in all, I mean you know, the game works, that's cool. I have an extra one. I'll, I'll pass along to someone, you know, as I usually do. But yeah, this is what it looks like, all the way folded out. And that's one side. And I don't know if this helps you guys or not, but for, for your, your curiosity right there, there you go. So all in all, you know, not bad. Let's take a closer look at the cart here. Right? It's actually in really good condition. I kind of, you know, it's kind of weird how, you know, you, you find things and things find you. I wasn't really looking, I don't recall looking for Atari 400 or 800 games. But yeah, man, not bad. Not, not a bad little find. Well, guys, this is the one thing I really wanted to get to add to my collection for my video game is this overlay. And I got it. And I got a cool instruction booklet. It'll be cooler. It says 2600. That's like 2600. But it did not. But it's okay. Until next time, my fellow gamers, game on. I'm going to uh, see if this cart works. You already saw that video. If you haven't, I'll put a link below. Laters.